the spirit that lies in me can only be be you and it's true spirit that lies in me can only be be you and it's true Song. Thank, thank God for the service. Yes, 
I'm giving praise. Yes, sir. Virtually, literally, in the cosmos, upon the earth, and in the heavens. Amen. Amen. I've come to rejoice. Yes, sir. And be glad. Yes, sir. Giving praise to God. Amen. Saying to the house of Israel, the Lord is good. Yes, sir. We have that song that says, the Lord is good. Yes, sir. He's good to me. Yes, sir. He took my feet out of the mighty place. Yes, sir. I'm so thankful. Yes, sir. I've just come to tell you what the good Lord has done for me. Amen. Heal the sick. Yes, sir. Raise the dead. Yes, sir. A lot of times when we say heal the sick and raise the dead, we're talking about ourselves. Yes, right. I came yes, to tell sir. you what the good Lord yes, has done for me. Yes, There's a song that also says tongues cannot express. Yes, sir. Tongues cannot express yes, what the Lord has done. I'm thankful for our leader, Chief Rabbi Philip Eugene McGill, Amen. Grandfather Abraham, Amen. following the line started with Prophet William S. Crowley, yes, sir. our reestablished church, yes, sir. saying, return to the Lord and follow the ancient of days. Amen. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has brought us a mighty long way. Yes, sir. So I'm thankful for our district rabbi, Rabbi Vulcans. Thankful for Rabbi Brown, Evangelist Norris, Elder Darren Merritt, Elder Howard Jeffries. I'm Elder James Hawley, the local pastor of First Avenue in Chicago. Amen. To all the local pastors in the West, all the ministers, to Sister Elder Alexis Strong, the assistant to the local pastor here, and all the sons and daughters of the daughter of Abraham and honor bearers for Grandfather Abraham. And we have our our friend of Rabbi Salter here, Sister Yaffa, I welcome her too when I Amen. say to you. Amen. 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 She picked a great day every time we did the great day to come by, but Amen. She, she picked a great day to yes, come worship sir. with us. Amen. I say to everyone, Shalom Aleichem. Aleichem Shalom. The text read by Sister Elder Bird, who was a Sister Elder and a district choir officer, Amen. is a wonderful song that 40th Psalm and all the scripture readings and all the songs yes. and all the sermons that we have heard today makes it easy for me to just come on up here and know that the service has been powerful and I can't do anything but add to it. But that scripture, it starts off with, I waited patiently for the Lord. Yes. And in that third verse that she was given, it says, and he hath put a new song in my mouth. I want to use that to just say that we sing in the beginning and in the end. So if this short message had a theme, it would be singing in the beginning and in the end, but. Singing in the beginning and in the end, but. And we know we start our services off with singing, I love thy church, O God. Yes. And then we often end our services with a benediction song with as the evening sun goes down or a shout song that we heard Rabbi Levi preach yes. last night on the beginning of the Sabbath or Arab Shabbat about the power of the singing and of the shout song. Yes. Singing in the beginning and in the end. Now in the Bible, the first song noted is in the Exodus. Exodus chapter 15. The song of Moses, and this is, the Lord is my strength and song. Yes. And it goes into, I will sing unto the Lord. That is the first song yes. of note yes. in the Bible. Yes. The last song of note in the Bible is also a 15th chapter. Revelation chapter 15 is noted as the last song, and it is called the song of Moses and the Lamb. That song, just like the Exodus song, is of the aftermath of deliverance, yes, a sir. celebration of God bringing you out. Yes, yes. In the Exodus, they've come through the Red Sea yes, and are now on the other side, and the waters have closed on the horse and his riders. Now in Revelation, we have John the Revelator 
and he is witnessing the saints standing who have overcome the power of the beast through their faithfulness as in Exodus they overcame the power of Pharaoh through their faithfulness. But here in Revelation, they're not standing at the Red Sea, but it says, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. Yes. So they also dealt with some treacherous waters and been delivered. Singing in the beginning of the Bible and singing in the end of the Bible. There's a but. Saints in our life, we have a lot of songs. Just as there are a lot of songs in the Bible, there's a lot of songs in our lives. Yes. And we have a lot of moments in our life that we attach to a particular song. Yes. Right? Yes. Saying, oh, yes. that's the song that was sung at my mother's funeral. Yes. And I always think of my mother when I hear that song. Mm -hmm. Or that's the song they were singing when I returned to the fold and I was thinking about taking a chair when they sung that song, I couldn't help myself, but I, I got up and I walked forward and I took one of those chairs to rededicate myself. But every time I hear that song, I think about when I rededicated myself yes, to the Lord. Yes, There's songs in our life that are beginnings to our experiences, and there are songs in our life that are the deliberate part of our experiences. Yes, when you came out of the doctor's office, you said, oh Lord, oh Lord, hear my voice and my supplication. And then when we were brought out of that sickness, we said, oh, the Lord is ready to save me, yes. to yes. save me, yes. to save me. Yes. So we have songs from the beginnings of our experience and in the deliverance part, just as that 40th song starts with, I waited patiently for the Lord. And then it gets to, and he has put a new song in my mouth. Yes. Yes. See, that song in Revelation says, and I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous. That's acknowledging God's power, God's omnipotence. And it says, who shall not Fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name. Singing in the end of the Bible of God's power. And so when we have these experiences in our life, we get to songs where we are rejoicing, saying, can't nobody feel my joy? And we say, can't you feel God moving? And when we think about the goodness of God, we say, I just can't stop praising his name. So we have these moments in our life that attach to songs. And I say we sing in the beginning and in the end. But, what's the but, Elder Harley? But the end is still not the end. The end is only another beginning. The benedictions in your life start something new in your life. The benedictions in our service start a new life for us all. We come out of here after this powerful service, and we should be changed. Yes. We should be different. What we were, what we thought of, what we recall with songs should be changed after this service. So after the benediction, it's the end of the service, but it's the beginning of what's to come. When God has delivered you, you may say, oh, I'm never going to work at that job again. And sometimes you say, oh, this career is not for me. Yeah. You might say, oh, I'm not going to that school anymore. And you may just feel like maybe this major, maybe this kind of college is not for me. It does not mean that it's the end of your story. Yeah. It's just the benediction. Sing a song in the end of that and sing going into what God has for us now. I'm going to leave this service singing just like in black college football. They have what's called the fifth quarter. Some of you may have never been to a historically black college football game. 
but the fifth quarter is after the football game is over, what happens? The bands get down. The bands start marching and the drum major gets it rolling. They're partying, celebrating, talking about the goodness no matter what happened on that football field, no matter who won the game or lost the game, both sides are going to have the fifth quarter where the fans are going to get down because they're going forth. That's what I'm doing in my life. I'm praising God in the beginning, and I'm praising God in the end, but that's not the end of the story. I'm going to keep on singing, keep on shouting. Praise in the name of God, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Even when this life is over, it's not the end. But on the other side, I'm going to be with the angels singing. They say the seraphims and the cherubims and mighty chorus sung, Holy, 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 holy is the Lord our God. Oh, I waited patiently for the Lord. And he has put a new song in my mouth. Amen. 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 Well, the scripture said the dead knowing nothing. Woo! How can the dead praise the Lord? I'm going to say the Thank you. 